Hey everybody, Trinfinitex here. Back with some more Twilight Princess. Uh, I think. Hold on. Uh, wow, is the stream like way behind? What? Um, yeah, it is. It almost looks like it froze, Trim. Yeah, whoa. Uh, hold on a second, guys. Something... something's very wrong here. Alright. Okay. So, once again, I have Aurora with me. Alright, so... ah. First order of business. Is to get shot by this guy. Wow, he's fast. Okay, I'm trying to break him, but I guess not. Never mind. That's not worth it. Yeah, uh, the, the steer guys are always way too quick for whatever reason. Yeah, like, that doesn't... That strikes me as kind of poor design there. How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to get him? Sneak up on him? I guess. I guess that's my only option. Of course, I don't even know why I tried to do that. Actually, yes, I do. I know why. It's because I was lost trying to orient myself in this place, and I ran across him, and I was like, oh, look, an enemy. I'll kill him. And then he hit me a few times, and now I can't let it go. No. You do not get... You do not get to hit me and get away with it. Ugh. Die. There we go. Okay. So, last we left off... We were almost done. We were almost done with this place. Yep, only need to get the, the last um, piece, to, which is... Or, well the last uh, room that Yetta has marked for us on our lovely handy dandy map. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that is up a floor. Yeah, here we go. Uh, it's up the ladder by the chill post. Yeah, yeah, we have to go up the ladder. All right. So for those of us just joining us in Snow Peak Manor, uh, the whole concept behind this dungeon is is a fetch quest combined with trying to figure out how in the world to open up certain areas um, in the entire manor. He does stop eventually, right? You might have to use a cannonball. No, he doesn't. I think I actually have to... Yeah, I think I actually have to destroy him before I get... And it's... Yeah, it looks like it's way too far. Maybe. Hold on. Can I hit him from down here, or do I have to use the cannon? I think you have to use the cannon. Yeah, and they won't let me aim up high enough. I have to use the cannon ball. And there's a slideable uh, block behind you. I'm gonna get rid of these guys. I don't like them. But the wolf folks, they're so adorable when they're not trying to kill you. Eh. Take that. They really did change. Oh my gosh, they're just infinitely spawning. Never mind. Ah. Uh. Okay. So I have to cannonball that guy. How do I do that, though? Also, I never pushed this block in. That's weird. That implies that there are places that I have not been, but that can't be. That can't be right. No, you were in that room. It's just that you didn't push the block before you left. What? 
That doesn't that doesn't sound like me. How did I how did I miss that? Well, I have to fix that now. I can't believe I would do something like that. All right, there we go. And now you have a, a wonderful little opening to, towards that show post. Cannonball, oh yeah. Okay, need to clear a path so I can get the cannonballs across to this, here we go. And once here, let's see, can I even aim it up there? No, I have to go, there's a cannon up there somewhere that shoots that, isn't there? Yeah, there's there back in the other room. It's a tower that has. Yeah, no, it's right above us. Yeah, right up here. Right, so I have to get up. Ugh, getting lost in this place. Also, these wolfos are terrible, like at hitting things. Their accuracy is pathetic. Almost makes you wish that the uh, Wolfos of Ocarina were back were in this game instead. Yeah, because then I could get rid of them faster. Now, where? How do I get up again? I have no idea where I'm going. So this is Minesweeper. Hey, welcome nope. back, Avalon. Still not Minesweeper. How's it going, Avalon? How do I get up? Well, I mean, actually, I could just go went, to the main room. You went back to to the um, room with Yetta and across through the third door that opened, which was on Hold the on. I can fix this. Yeah, I can fix this. Do I still have soup? Do I still have soup? Yes, I have plenty of soup. Good. Yeah, we can go up to the second floor from just up going this way through the main hall. Can't we? Yeah, sort of. There's one door that leads. There's one door that leads up from here. There's two doors, okay. So, if we go through here. Should be able to go around here, right? Oh no, it's blocked off by those things, by those. Uh, okay. So we have to unlock that from the other side. Cool. So I was actually on the right track from the beginning. Incredible. It's almost like your your intuition is so oh my gosh. sound that you didn't even realize. Come on, I can't. I physically can't swing it in time. There we go. Jeez, that's crazy. How fast he is. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. I'm starting to get reoriented now. This way. Yes, we have a key that we didn't use. That's why it seemed so confusing. Somewhere in the last episode, we got a key. <sighs> this lovely room. Oh yes. yeah. It brings back my Yeah, this room. Oh, come on. I barely got grazed. Wow, just chained together so quickly. Crazy. Ugh. But yes, for when you always remember your first time against the big ol' chill post. Okay. 
<sighs> Boy, these people, they sure love... Um, they sure love Orton a... goats. Yes? Is there a, a way you, a way to get up to the third level up above you? So yeah. It's like a hole in the roof. Uh, there is a hole in the roof. However, there is nothing above me. Okay. Just checking. Yeah. The Ike monster has been practicing his stun lock combos, yes. Yeah, definitely. This game has some pretty awful stun lock if you, uh... If you give it the chance. Alright, so, here we have our cannon that we need to kill that one guy across the way, so we need to get some cannonballs and get them through. Which means... a pretty long trek back. Uh, we can't use the cannonballs that are over there, can we? No, you, no. There's, there's some cannonballs down, and you use that cannon that's behind the ice wall to shoot it up over here. So oh, yeah, that's right. It. There is a cannon over there. Thank you. I was lost there for a second. Endorsty, welcome! Yes, it was an epic, epic gamer moment when he was uh, in, in very um, intuitive on what needed to happen next. Uh, cannonballs. Down. Down? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, okay. We have to go through the incredibly long process. Now I remember. We have to go through the super long process of, like, getting the cannonballs up here. Ugh. But to be fair, it is the last cannonball puzzle. Yeah, thankfully, it is the last one. Anyway, how's it going, guys? Avalon, MetaX, and Endorsey. How are you all doing today? I hope your day has been less hot than mine has. I had to go shopping before the stream. And it is very hot outside here in Colorado. What's it like where you guys are? There we go. Since we're going to be at this puzzle for a minute. So thankfully, this is the last cannonball puzzle you have to do. Mm hmm. If I remember. Implying I've e ever ventured outside. <laughs> well. Fair enough. Fair enough. I know what you mean. I only go out if I have to go out. All right. We need bombs. So, what have you been doing inside all the time? What you been working on lately? Finally. If I'm not mistaken, there's a room coming up shortly. And if I'm not mis mistaken, it's full of my favorite enemies. That was stupid. Why did I do that? I should have actually aimed the cannon first. That was dumb of me. Turn? There we go. Oh well, yes, your favorite enemies. The ones that keep on yeah. doing infinite spears. That sucks. There's no way to get that back. I have to go down and get another one. That was stupid. Why did I do that? I was in such a hurry to be done. I didn't think. 
This is not one of my favorite dungeons in this game, for sure. Like, the aesthetic is great, but... Ugh. It's easy to get, it's just so easy to get lost. And then the puzzles are not exactly short. I actually enjoyed the cannonball puzzles. It, um, they were a little um, tougher, in my opinion. I mean, I guess it's not bad, it's just like... How shall I if you already know what the solutions are? Um How shall I say this compared to the the dungeons that are coming up? Like you know what dungeons are next? Oh yes. And quite I frankly, both of them outclass this. I can see how see your where you stand on that. Uh no, also, I, I think Arbiter's Grounds no outclasses that. this. Snowbeak still has its certain charms. Yeah, Snowbeak's not bad, it's just... It stands out the least, I think, among the later dungeons. Like... Mm. Don't, you don't want to spoil it for all those who haven't played this yet. Eh. This game's old enough. I'm not gonna spoil too much, but I mean, we've already spoiled some of it, so. True enough. There we go. Though yes, compared to um, the next three dungeons, yeah, uh, this one is not as memorable. Actually, I would say all four. Like, the game, the game literally just keeps getting better from here. Mm -hmm. I can see that. There we go. Cutscene implying that yes, we got the right solution. Now! Now we can finally get to some action. If we can make it up this ladder. Well, than yep. Than there we go. Okay. Yep, yep, here it is. I knew it. Is it? Is it what I think it is? Yeah, here we go. This looks like a... This looks like a... This looks like an old... Like chapel. This looks like a chapel. Would have been a, been either a chapel, definitely a chapel, just based on the views that are are listed are um, here. It could also have been a great hall, but it's more than likely a chapel. Whatever it is, I'm gonna break these guys with my sword. Choppy, choppy. Jump, jump. Jump. There's a lot of them. Ah. Ah, I'm getting... Uh, what the... Okay. You saw that, right? Oh, no. That's ridiculous. <laughs> the heck? I was like, I'm in the middle of backstabbing this guy, but let me stop and pick up this rupee. I found 20 bucks on the ground. Isn't that awesome? I'm in the middle of, you know, getting attacked by all these guys, but uh, I found $20. I should stop and celebrate. Uh, oh my gosh. That is one of the main little nitpicks about this entire game is it makes you the heck stop. was that? Okay. You 
Oh, Lynn yeah. just doesn't care about these guys. <laughs> You are correct. I am done caring about those guys. Finally found the key. Yay. Okay. If you're going to use the soup, I would use it now because you're going to be going right next to um, Yeto again. Yep. One second. Or never mind. I drink husband's soup. Feel much better, huh? So I come to find you. You found key, huh? Good, good. Bedroom right above us. I take you there. We don't actually have to wait for her to slowly walk all the way up here. No. I think the main reason this dungeon was memorable for me was what's gonna was what's gonna be coming up next. I'll admit, the boss fight wasn't half bad, and also the ending was very nice. I'll give you that. Cute. I'll give you that. Uh, hold on. Let's get our items in order. Soup! Alright. And then... I think that's pretty much all I need, actually. Mm -hmm. Just need ball and chain for this ball. All right, here we go. Boy, what a lock, though. What a design for a lock. So brokenhearted that that you're entering the room without alone. Thank you. Come, you come inside. Wind Waker Link's grandma is the nicest, most wholesome person in the entire Zelda series. She does make the best soup. I'm gonna have to give it to you there, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I can agree with that. I mean, Urbosa from, from uh, Breath of the Wild is almost up there because of her familial relationship with Zelda, but yeah. So pretty. <laughs> Oh dear. Pretty, uh, so pretty. We're gonna have an into the looking glass moment, folks. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, mirror, lovely. Uh huh. Not for much longer. Not Tig Mirror! A face only a mother could love. Ah. And this is the game rearing its Majora's Mask darkness. You have to admit, the aesthetic of being in a, a creepy manner and then that this happening, that has all of me. Uh... She's a giant frizzy. Ah, sliding around. Ah. Also, yes, Urbosa is hot, but uh, this room is cold. Uh. There we go. And full of frizzies. Uh. I wish we were in a desert again. Uh Link probably wishes that right about now, too. Swinging around, you have a better chance of actually. There we go. There you go. I wish we were in a desert again and Link was wearing a dress. Okay, that part of Breath of the Wild totally took me off guard. We'll get to Breath of the Wild again. I'm not satisfied with my last playthrough, so we will get to that. And true enough. Ah. How do I get Oh. I think you have to destroy all of the pillars. 
Well, we don't have to destroy them, but, uh... Recommended that you at least destroy a couple. This music is pretty awesome, gotta say. There we go. Hit one. Like, seriously. This is actually one of the better boss fight themes mm -hmm. in the whole game. Uh, yeah, it kind of was, actually. <laughs> If you're talking about the theming and stuff, it definitely was. But to be fair, for the Gerudo culture, that's probably the only way it can survive. Ow. Huh? Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, there's lots and lots of speculation about how the Gerudo operate. Huh? Oh, why did you turn and face the wrong way? Ah, oh, actually, I hit her anyway. Jeez, okay. Yeah, this game has a surprising lack of Gerudo in it. There's been many a theory trying yep. to figure out what happened to them. Yeah, definitely. You know what would be there cool? we go. A Gerudo Link and a Hylian Ganon. That would definitely be interesting. Yeah, that'd be a shake-up. Of course, at that point, we gotta start talking about, like, gender-swapping all the characters. But, that's... a discussion for another time. Oh dear, I can't get those images out of my head now. Well, we have two mirror shards now. Two more left, Link. Not that we need this shard. Still, I feel bad about oh, the way we treated that girl. To think the Mirror of Twilight has the power to change people all like that. This world, all worlds, can be cruel. Let's hurry up and collect the rest of those pieces, Link. We have to before more innocent creature just have to endure the suffering this poor girl did. Well, let's go search for the two that remain. With, with me. I thought that was him talking for a second. Very strange. You just dreaming, uh? Yeto. Oh, mirror you gave. Forget mirror, Yeta. No. Look into eyes of Yeto. Look in reflection of Yeto's eyes. Their true beauty. Aww. Who need mirror? My love, uh... Just this scene. Yep. Better love story than Twilight. Amen. Yep. Amen. Gotta make the Twilight... Gotta make the better love story than Twilight joke. It is practically required here. To be fair, I can name a huge amount of romances better than Twilight. I never saw that movie, but I saw just enough of it, like, just some clips and things to know how awful it is. It is not worth the watch. 
So does this imply Link is literally powered by love? Uh, sure. The power sure. of love and friendship endures. Why not? Why not? I mean, it's better than assuming that Link is, like, actually powered by multiple physical hearts that he just ripped out of other creatures. Yeah. Alright. So, if I'm not mistaken, there's only one treasure chest back there that I didn't get, so I'll go ahead and grab that. And also, there's a Poe out here somewhere at night. And a race we have to do for a heart piece, I believe. There's stuff mm -hmm. to do. This is a place you definitely don't want to have to come back to again because it's kind of a chore getting here. Mm hmm. So. Even though you do have that portal, it's st you still have to go through the entire race sequence again to get down here. Yeah, you have to go through the whole sledding area again, and that's not something I want to do. So, we are going to not ever do that again after we do the race. Uh, and we are going to fill up on soup because it's free. Why not get free soup? essentially free red potion. Yeah, it's literally just a free red potion, so might as well just take some. Looks like they're gonna be eating on that for quite a while. Yeah, they're gonna have leftovers forever <laughs> at that rate. Well, to be fair, they do have an entire mountain that acts like a freezer for them. Yeah, that's true. This, this house has several rooms in it that could keep that soup good for a long time. Mm -hmm. In theory. Um. So considering it has pumpkin and cheese in it, would that freeze well? Mm. Uh, I don't know. Of course, we're assuming that... And fish. Ooh. Yeah, we're assuming that abominable <laughs> snowmen require the food to be fresh. Uh, or whatever they are. <laughs> They're yetis. Yeah, yetis. Same difference. Alright. Okay. So let's grab this last chest in here. I have no idea what it is. It's probably just some... Probably just some rupees, but... I still want it. Yeah, this is the only one that requires the ball and chain for you to get. Yep. And it's just 20 rupees. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Confirm. Mm -hmm. There are no more chests. This entire dungeon is empty. The red dots are cannonballs. So, we're done here. Done here minus the Minus the race and the Poe. <sighs> Finally starting to cool down from my shopping trip, at least. Yeah, it is ridiculously warm out there. For those of you who um, don't know, both Trin and I live in Colorado, um, and it is both very dry and very hot outside right now. Well, it's always dry, but... Oh, yes. <sighs> I really wish that wasn't the case. Like, this, when I swing my sword, it doesn't complete the full arc. I really wish that it would. That's a very clunky thing about this game. Your sword tends to bang easily on stuff. Also, I have no idea if it's night or day, but that Poe is apparently there all the time. Because it's up there right now. And it looks like it's daytime. But maybe there's no... Maybe that doesn't apply? Up here? Because um, it's just 
so dark up here all the time. Uh, this does keep going around until it goes up, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it, it, does, it does, it does. I was like, it does keep going, right? It's just, oof, right. It's just, wow. Suddenly can't see anything. That's, oh, wow, okay. Also, I think it turned back here. It turned yeah. back, yeah. Wow. That was bright. Almost makes having senses on work it. All right. We caught a ghost. I thought oh. you caught a pomegranate. Yeah, it sort of looked like that too, but it was actually a ghost. So I think that's more than 20 now, isn't it? Oh yeah, no, we have more than 20. So we can get the wallet. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot, we actually can't hold any more rupees. Darn. Oh, well. Yeah, you need the new wallet for you to get more. Well, we have the warp that takes us literally to the beginning of the race, and that's the only Poe in this area, right? I believe so. There were the one You already got the one at the top of the mountain before the race, and then there was only this one. Yeah. Oh, you need it. All right, so I guess that's that then. Let's get ourselves a bigger wallet. Ale man? I knew it! I knew it! I knew that guy was gonna... <laughs> It always happens after every one of these dungeons. Ah. Uh, well, it happened. No, it happens way more often than that. Every time I come to this place. Let me guess. One is from Russell. Probably. <laughs> As usual, I have no intention of reading the letters. <laughs> Aww. Because we already know what to do. One is probably Malomart and the other is Russell. Yeah, probably. Or a Shea. Or Since we just finished the whole thing. And the slowdown, wow. More than likely, it's Aru or Talma. What is this person's hat? Oh, that. Oh, I can't go into first person here? But yeah, look at this. Look at this person's hat. Mm hmm. What is this wide hat? Almost looks like a some sort of. Like a pirate hat. From this angle right here. It looks like a. It shoot. Could be. Oh, is that supposed to be her hair? Is that, oh. Is it? No, that looks like a hat. Yeah, it looks very much like a hat. I don't think that's hair. Either that or she's invented... Yeah, she's... Either that or she invented some crazy hair gel. To hold her hair up like that. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that is just an old noble woman. Eh. Um... So, where am I headed? I am headed to Giovanni's. Giovanni's. Yep, this way. And wolf mode. And One of the few places in town that you can actually be a wolf and not get penalized for it. Yep. All right. Well, now we can move. You did it. I can move again. This is all thanks to you, right? Oh, I have to thank you. Will this do? 
Great fairy's tears. And a bottle. Heck yeah. Doesn't he give totally us the wallet though? Um, or is that all 50? But my body is still golden. Does this mean my soul is still not whole? That's strange. Maybe we need the souls of 60 ghosts. Oh. oh. Yep. That's probably the wallet. <laughs> Can I ask another favor of you, doggy? Can you defeat eat more ghosts? Just 37 more? Just 37 ghosts more? Sure. In fact, we'll defeat them all for you because this is 100%. Say, you're the one who fixed, fixed my master up, right? I owe you. My name's Gingle. I'm the leader of the cats outside. Well, oh well, now that I can move, maybe I should go outside and breathe some fresh air. All right. I could have sworn it was a wallet. Maybe it's just not a, a wallet yet. True. But we get f we got a bottle and fairy's tears with it, so worth it. Uh, yeah, I'm not unhappy at all. Fairy's tears, fairy tears are a full heal and double damage for as long as you remain at full health. So totally worth it. Yeah, fairy tears are really worth it. The only way to get more than one bottle of fairy tears at a time is to hold on to this original bottle, never use it. And then collect fairy tears from the bottom of the Cave of Ordeals. And then she'll give you a second one. But once you use one of them, you can never get more than one. So this is the only opportunity we'll ever have to have more than one of these. So I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna try to hold on to this. Just because. Now... Let's see, what what to do next? Let's go back and get that race done. So is everyone looking forward to the July 4th weekend? Can I transform in front of them? In front of them? I believe you can. Nope, we can't. You would not think that Yetta and Yetta would mine. Probably not. But yeah, you got any plans for the fourth Avalon? Dorsey, I suspect you don't, uh, I suspect you don't celebrate, uh, the 4th being in Sweden and all. But it's a national holiday here in America. Also, Meta, if you're still around, let me know if you got anything. Long time since we meet, huh? Two minutes ago. Wife feeling better, huh? Nice weather for sleds. You try? Sure. Race to home. Is it just me or does that look like a saddle on top of it? It kind of does look like one. Okay, so if we want to beat uh, Yetta, we have to be way quicker. Ugh. Then, uh, we have to be way, way faster than uh, just taking the basic path. So I'm trying to remember where is that shortcut and how do I go fast here? Ah, on the treetops there. There we go, that's a start. Oh, shoot. No, up, go up, Link. Don't turn so hard. Oh my gosh, I barely touched it. Ugh, trying to get the, uh, trying to get, I was trying to get the shortcut, but man, it's hard. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so you can hold A here for the jump. 
Well, we should still be able to beat him, I think. Nope, because we... Yeah. Yeah, Yeto is... The you know what? Yeah, we're just gonna jump off. Please end. Yes, here we go. There we go. Let's try that again. Oh, you, you race? Yes. Yeah, that does look like a saddle on his head. Definitely. Okay. I think it's to imply old Eskimo hats, but that's a little awkward. Okay. Let's see if I can get the steering for this down. Steering is the hardest part of this, for sure. Ah, whoop. there we go. Now, gotta jump just a little sooner. And now we can take the shortcut. This is what I need to practice for Yetta. Because she will destroy us if we don't do this. Completely. Because I'm pretty sure she does this, right? Oh, snap, that's not good. Yeah. Somehow I recovered from that. Ooh. That was very close. That was stress-inducing. Um, however... Oh, no, 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 not that again. Okay, almost overturned again. I don't know if that's going to be good enough to beat Yetta, though. <laughs> It'll be close. Yeah, we got Yetto. You good, huh? You worthy sledder. 180 snowboarding. <laughs> yeah, somehow, yeah, somehow snowboarding. You want rematch? You go back to mountaintop, huh? Sure. Can I transform and warp up here? It was an old N64 game. I remember it. I I played that game a little bit over at my cousin's house. Way back when the N64 was new. Anyway, we're going to go to an ad break for just a minute. I shall return in just a moment. All right. So, this time, we have to do the harder one, and this one, I think, gives us a piece of heart, right? Mm hmm Huh? Wait. Uh, you, have to, you have to actually talk with her. Oh. Well, that's dumb, in that case. No. Let me off. I want off. I want off, I said. Okay, talk to her then. You beat husband, huh? You good. You race me, huh? Good, race to house. Okay. She's way faster. Because she's lighter, too. Yeah, uh huh? And she doesn't even have to be on ice. Okay. <laughs> this is where things get tough. Off we go. Ugh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. I swerved and lost control, and that's the end. I don't think it's possible to beat her anymore. Well, you can at least, you can at least yep. practice the shortcut. Yeah, I will. But I'm pretty sure she's unbeatable now. Uh, at least that's how I remember this game going. 
Yeah, because she takes the shortcut too. There's no... There's no recovery. Lots of rupees, but no recovery. Yep. Again, steering so hard. Alright. Thankfully, there's no entry price. We can keep trying this until we get it. So... Yeah, Eventually. Yes, it is. Because once we once we do this, I'm pretty sure we're done with Snow Peak. Period. Yeah. yeah. This whole area is just done as soon as we get this. Because I there are no I don't think there are any bugs here. Yeah. I don't think so either. She just messes around Snoopy. Yeah, Nipietta is sort of a a little poppy when it comes to her speed speed racing. Mm -hmm. Oh crap. I didn't get the uh Huh. You should still be able to beat her. Yeah, no, I'm still ahead. Ah, well, it was until the game decided, no, nah, you're not gonna jump here. What? I totally pressed jump though. Stupid game. Alright, fine. And then it won't even let me ditch. Like, I really hate that there's no there's no way to stop. Like, just stop and reset quickly. Come on. Ugh, what the heck was that? It just didn't take it just ate my input. It just didn't jump. Ugh. There's a delay on jumping in in this. I need to account for that. Yeah, just abuse, abuse the the special power to teleport every time I fall off a cliff. That's right. No, he could have Furore's win. That's quite possible, actually. Ocarina Link had it. Why not? Just automatically sets Furore's wind everywhere. Oh my gosh, I think the treetops are slower. Because she caught up to me, thanks to me doing that. I swear, if touching her causes me to lose control, I'm going to be very upset. Of course, at this rate, I'm just going to lose control on my own. Come on. I believe upcoming. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Now I just have to not fail at this. Nope. And I failed at the last second. Incredible. That counted as a wall. Uh. That's so dumb. So close, though. <laughs> yes. Ugh. All right, so not even going to bother taking the treetops this time because that's apparently slower. Well, I'll probably do it out of habit, but if I fall down, I won't be sad. Cause that's just there for rupees, I suppose. Rupees that I can't hold, so... Yep. I'm actually super happy that we were actually able to open that chest in Snow Peak because we weren't full on rupees at the time. Because it would really suck to have that chest be like, no, you can't open me because you're full on rupees. That'd be so dumb. Uh, well, that in this race, maybe. Alright. No. Please. Don't overturn, Link. She gets extra fast here at the end, too. Oh my gosh, she almost caught me. 
She, I think she actually speeds up there. Mm -hmm. Link, you're too good. Uh, I overcomp confident maybe. You slimmer than husband. Uh, maybe he that your secret. You aerodynamic, huh? No. You take this as token of respect for sled skills, huh? And no tell husband. You come back and race anytime, huh? All right. Well, that wasn't so bad, but definitely it takes some getting used to to get those controls down. Mm -hmm. So have you noticed that the snow, the inhabitants of Snow Peak always in, or mostly end their sentences with uh or yeah? Yeah, I was trying to figure out what accent that was a long time ago. Also, um, Ashe does it too. Like, it's just the accent of this region, I guess. Which is interesting because where in the world does a Shay live? Somewhere up here, I would assume. My going theory was that a Shay lives somewhere closer to uh, closer to Castletown, but still in the Snow Peak territory. Oh my gosh. No mailman. Incredible. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a talk with the resistance just to see what they say. And then we're gonna go get a few heart pieces that I left behind. It's time to actually start looking around for those. Now that we have ball and chain, there's a couple places we can go. And there's one other mini game I'm not looking forward to that we have oh, to get done. Wait a second, there is something in Snow Peak that you didn't do. Oh no, what was it? Oh no, no, I'm I, I that's wrong. That's right. It's in North High Rule Field. Sorry. Yeah, I was about to say if it's the little mini dungeon you're talking about, then that's, yeah, that's North High Rule. Yeah, Field. that's that's yeah, exactly. Um. But yeah, there shouldn't be anything else in Snow Peak at all. Yep. Ah, Thomas Barr, as homie as ever. Let's see what they have to say. Oh, the camera angle. Ah, the camera angle decided to be kind this time. Link, huh? The beast of Snow Peak hasn't appeared in Zora's domain since its last <laughs> visit. In the end, the troubles of and Hyrule, only the events on Snow Peak were beyond even m my imagination. Did you know what happened? Honestly, there's got to be he's someone who knows what really happened. Uh-huh. Staring right at you. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops, she said something else. Will you repeat? Oh, Link, you are truly a mysterious guy. No matter her where some kind of incident occur, there's your name always seems to come up. Hey, I don't under... Hey, don't misunderstand me. I meant that as a compliment, yeah? As a fellow worker her in the fight to restore peace to Hyrule, you have my thanks. And may we both keep up the good work. So formal. You can definitely tell she is a uh, lady knight. Would you care to hear about the sky beings again? Nah. Oh. Hey, are you quite sure? I don't mind. Really? <laughs> really, Chad? Good. <laughs> no, we're good. Did you see the sad state of Hyrule Castle? Yeah, trapped in a giant, like, diamond. It's the urgent desire of this group of ours to restore peace to this kingdom as, swift, as swiftly as possible. Link, please continue to lend us your strength. Hmm. Does he say anything else? No, he doesn't. Okay. Interesting. I think it's just Telma who really directs you. Yeah, Telma is probably is like one of the only two Gerudo-ish people we see in this whole game. Mm -hmm. Going back to the Gerudo again, like Telma, she has the red hair. 
She's got the, like, the darker skin complexion. She, her and one other person in this town might be Gerudo. Which one are you implying? The fortune teller, of course. Mm, true. So she does have ties to the Sheikah if her garb is any implication. Eh, we'll see. The only other person that looks like they might be uh, Gerudo is this person. Possibly. Also, is that a bug I hear? What's the sparkling? No. The sparkling is the crystal ball. Yeah, okay. So this is the fortune teller lady. She'll tell, she basically charges you a fee to tell you what you need to do next in case you're lost. I'm not going to bother. She also tells you where heart pieces are. If you are... Oh, yeah, that's right. She does give... They are located. Yeah, that's true. She does give you that option. But I don't need that. Because I have something better than a fortune teller. I have Google. <laughs> fortune telling is no match for the power of the internet. Now, uh, yeah, I guess there's no actual war point in North Hyrule Field, is there? All right. Gotta actually go but there. If, but if you go to Zora's Domain, there is a shortcut back out. Yeah, I mean, kind of. Uh, I need something to spend my money on. Is Malomart open? Like, is, is the magic armor a thing yet? It should be. I think that was one of your letters. Let me let me go check that out, actually. Because I have a full wallet, and I don't want to leave it full if possible, because there's stuff to... There's plenty of rupees everywhere, and I need to use them up. So that I can open chests and not have to return the money or something dumb like that. This is the wrong direction. Fixed... Yep, fixed camera angles. Not used to them. Hey, Mellow Mart. And wait for it, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, there it is. Put your hands up in the air and just wave them like you don't care. <laughs> You'll buy it now if you're smart at Mallow Mart. Welcome. Welcome. Grand opening sale going on. And now at Castletown Mallow Mart. 20% off. 30% off. Of course. Why not? I can't understand Japanese, but he said something. We're looking out for you, the hero of discounts. That is us, Mallow Mart. Buy it now if you're smart. Make your selection using that uh, direction. Okay, so, wow, we can buy bombs, we can buy water bombs, and bomb links, amazing. Also, we can get the magic armor right now. Totally Dang. Worth it. I didn't realize we could do that, but I'll take it. Sold out of the magic armor. Wow. Just look at how pretty that is. You bought the magic armor. You bought it. You are smart. You bought it at Mallow Mart. Wear it and your rupees will become magical. The armor will protect you. So if you get hit, you lose rupees, not health. Totally worth it. If you run out of rupees, the armor will go dormant and your movement will become impaired. That's okay. We'll pretty much never run out of rupees in this game. Not after we collect more, that is. So, we don't have any money now. Thank you for your patronage. Shop again sometime. So, uh, fun fact. If the guy who was behind the counter actually was the snob snobbish guy that would turn his nose up at you if you came into the store before it turns into Malamar. Hmm. Wow. 
Wow. Everybody's real excited. Yeah. It's almost, uh, scary. You know what's even scarier is those electric lights in medieval times. I never thought of that. Uh, alright, so... Oh, wow. Did this forcibly change the camera angle? I think it did. Amazing. I've never seen this camera angle before. Or at least I think... Or at least I don't think I have, unless this is the wrong... Pathway there, but it felt like I was looking down this corridor more than I normally would if I hadn't come out of Malamort there No, it is because you came out of Malamort that the camera angle was different <laughs> Too bad we can't go into any of these buildings but They would be so much fun to see what's inside Yeah, everything's all gated off though Aww. We will however end up in here later all right. Let's head on out. First order of business, North Island. Yep. And we can go there from pretty much any direction we want to. However, it is actually faster to warp, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be faster to warp. I mean, Epona's right here, though. Oh, yeah. You know, there was actually something I need to uh, check on anyway. Since Epona's right here. Let's go ahead and go this way real quick, because I think there was a heart piece that we didn't get earlier that it turns out I actually can get now that I actually could have gotten a long time ago, but I think we thought it was double claw shot, but it was actually, but I just literally saw a video and it was in reach of Boomerang. So now I wanna go check to make sure I wasn't crazy. So. Ah, oh, what the? I got stopped by a tiny piece of a triangle on the landscape. But yeah, I think we can actually get that hard piece up there right now. Could have sworn we could. Good thing opponent's invincible. So yeah, I think we can get this right now, and we could have gotten it way back when we got Boomerang too. But then that makes me wonder, what's all that down there then? I think that's another. Is that another one? Huh. Uh, all right, well, first of all. Yep, we can get it now. Two more to go. Now, what is over here? Uh -oh. I think there's another chest. There's a chest or something over there. Yeah, like, I know I know there's something over there, but I'm trying to remember what. Well, Do I actually need double claw shot to get down there? I think there is. Yeah, you have to have double claw shot for that one. You know something? I think I'm starting to remember there is another heart piece over there, and it is double claw shot, because we have to get to that and then work our way down. Yeah, the only way to get from there to there would be double claw shot. Unless I want to long jump it, but uh, nah. Because then I'd be... Well, no, I wouldn't be stuck. I could warp, but... Nah, it's not worth it. Not worth it to mess around just yet. So I wasn't crazy. Yep. Um. Well, now that we got that heart piece. Let's see. We need to go to North Hyrule Field. And then. And then we need to go to Orden. 
say that like that's a bad thing. It is. Why? What's so bad about Orden? You don't know what we're gonna be doing there. Give you a hint, it's for a heart piece. Oh, oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, it involves... It involves goats. <laughs> It was what usually one of the easier ones. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's not too bad, but still, not exactly my favorite mini game. Random little bug. Did I hear a bug? What? It... Mm, I don't know. I'll just uh, get rid of this guy. But I thought I heard a bug. Is there a bug out here? Well, I mean, there is a bug out here, but like... Is it near? No, no, I must... I think I'm mistaken, actually. Probable rock, though. Yeah, all right. So where is... It acts like you're heading towards Zora's domain. I think there's a little cave in that center rock formation. Yeah, it's over here somewhere. Speaking of bugs, though, we are going to eventually need to uh, start increasing our bug collection. Oh. No, I definitely heard it this time. There is a bug nearby somewhere. I think it is below this yeah, area. Yeah, it's below me, I'm pretty sure. You're right. Yeah. So, I need to go back down there and figure out where it is because that is... We gotta catch them all. Well, the it will be getting dark soon, so it'll make it'll make life easier for you to catch the bugs. Yep. Be able to see them. Is it down here? I feel like the music's a little loud. Or was that just the water? No, that was not the water. It was definitely not the water. Uh, I think that circle of grass is in between, is diggable. That's a good point. What's down here? Anything important that I forgot? Oh! Oh gosh. You spiders! We are sorry for all the arachnids. At least they're big spiders. Okay, you know something? If you're gonna be difficult, then I will just. Can I do this to them? I think I can. Yep! There we go. Slayer of spiders any day. Slayer of spiders, slayer of pretty much everything. If you can hit this. Yeah, ball and chain does some pretty absurd damage. Now, the question is... Is there anything important in here that I'm forgetting? Because I don't remember this room. I'm gonna be honest with you, I really don't remember this room. Um, I think it's for a chest, you have to light all of the lanterns. 
well, that much I figured out, but I'm trying to think, like, what's in it, though? I... Is it actually a heart piece? And I just forgot, and oh my gosh, rupees. I think it's just, I think the um, end result is going to be a lot of rupees. Yeah, I'm having that feeling, too. Well, let's find out, though. <laughs> Where does he keep that thing? The ball and chain, yeah. That is an excellent question. <laughs> Science may never know the answer. Does he have, like, like a temporal, spatial vortex within his hat? It'd be just like Doctor Who. Just spatial compression, you know? <laughs> For 50 rupees, not a bad, not bad. Eh, I guess. You're gonna be running out of lantern oil. <laughs> I have an extra jar full. Yep. Bottle full. Ugh! But yes, uh, the next little area area for heart pieces, I believe, is just up up in that, uh, in the little crossroad area. I'm not leaving till I find that bug. We gotta catch it. Gotta catch them all. All the bug types and ghost types. Gotta get them. I did not know that, that, that there was Pokemon in Zelda, but sure. Hey, have you seen <laughs> you seen some of the monsters roaming around Hyrule? True enough. They sure look like some of some of them sure look like Pokemon. Now here's one right here. Also, have you seen some Pokemon? They could be yeah. monsters. Some of the po some Pokemon could be monsters in Hyrule. What? Let's go to human form. This is silly. Sword. All right, now where is Bug? Um, oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking tiny. And it's right next to the bombable wall that you were going to need to get anyway. I indeed see it. Come here. Poor Bug is probably terrified when the giant claw shot came for it. Come here, I said. Stag beetle. Alright. There we go. So, if you all remember the block puzzle in Snow Peak, you will be getting a little bit of deja vu when you enter into here. Uh huh. Jury's still out on a little bit, though. It might be a lot, depending on whether how much or how little I remember this puzzle. Actually, it's a series of puzzles, isn't it? Yes, it yes, is. It is. It's a series of puzzles. This is quite the complex heart piece to get. Um. Hmm. You just want to push that one around, uh, back, and then then you'll put push that one towards the other one at the far end. that one there did I yeah you did I mean 
Let's see. What I need is a way is a, to find a way to get a block to here, but I don't think can I do that? No. No. I was trying to stack them up this way. That's not going to work. Unless you, hmm, yeah. Unless you uh, push all push that one directly across from you over here, but then that's wait a that's minute. really not going to help you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Actually, there's a way. I see it. I can, in fact, do what I wanted to do. It is possible. I don't know if this is the long way around, but uh, I have a solution. Do you see it yet? Yes, I see it. Go without the sliding on ice. And there we go. And then there's this one. Oh my gosh, is there a third one? I think there is. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right. So we know that we're going to have to Hold on. Yeah, that one. I can get I can get one of these right away. Like one of them is pretty Getting one is easy. It's getting two that is hard from what I recall. There's a trick I feel like there's a trick to this puzzle. That is I'm Trying to remember what the trick is. Oh, oh, um, shoot. Wait. Uh, push, push that one. Oh, hmm. It's on the, uh, lever forward. So, or no, you don't want to do that one. No. I feel like what we need is to get, oh. we need to get this one first. We um, need to get that one first. That's what happened. Push push the block that was in the corner uh, back to back towards the the other entrance. <laughs> uh, not that, but yeah, sure. That is that's the one I moved last. Okay, I meant that one. <laughs> and then push. Push the other one back into its original position, or that one's too. Uh, okay, I. This will be a little complicated, but I think I can. I think I can get something to work here. Let's see. No, that won't work. But this will. I have it. Okay. This might be a little overly complicated, but I can, I have a solution that will absolutely work. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna take me the long way around, but it will solve the puzzle. Whatever works, right? Actually, could that have been done? Can that be done better? Oh. What? Can I get that block into that position now? Uh-oh. Small hiccup in the plan. Um, is that doable now? Uh-oh. If I do that... Yes, okay, that's longer, but I think that will work, right? I need that block right there, and I need 
Uh oh. You're stumbling back into the issue that you had before. Hold on. If I can get this block right there, then it will work. Yes. Oh, hold on, wait, hold on. I think I've got it. I think I got okay. it. I need to move that once. Now, send this across. And then we'll just do like this. Again, this might be the long way around this solution, but it will work. There we go. <laughs> Wait, what was my next move here? What was my next plan? Oh, I forgot what it was again. Uh, you're gonna move the one up in, in that corner down. So the one right to the, the one in the corner next to the button, you are going to move south. <laughs> yeah. Why do I feel like that's not gonna work? Because then you're going to push that, the one to the left <sighs> of the just moved up and then over, then back around. Oh, or not. Yeah, I was about to say. I don't think so. <laughs> Hold on, though. I think I saw a solution earlier that'll fix it. Yeah, ice block, ice block puzzles. Ugh. Okay, hold the up. The series of ice block puzzles. If Welcome back, Avalon. Or if you have, if you, if you left us for a moment. Um. thought I had an idea. And now I can't remember what it was. No. I can push this around in a circle, but that's not helping. Putting a block there doesn't help me. Ooh. Oh, I, I think I, ha I stumbled across a solution. Okay. So the block to your left, the, the, you're gonna push forward. Yep. Yeah, trying to hit that button with only two blocks though. Cause this block right here cannot move. And then that same block, move it all the way around to, to until it hits the other block. Now push it towards the block in the middle. That's true. You're right. There we go. Now I can just rotate this one around and I got it. That sounds like the idea I had earlier that I forgot and couldn't see anymore. Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, my brain is already tired of ice block puzzles. <laughs> Thank you for the assist. No problem. That's what you kept me around for. Yeah, there's there's several solutions. Now, then there's this puzzle. Ah, uh, okay. yeah, okay. I remember this one being interesting. You have to get two in a row, and then two in a row again. <laughs> yep. This puzzle is quite the interesting one. So the setup for this puzzle is pretty obviously this, because you have to have a block here, and you need to get a block here and here. That's the only way to get it done. So. First, we need a block here. 
So we need something to stop. Yeah, the only way to get a block there is going to be if it were to come from over here. So I need something to stop it on this side, which means, there we go. <laughs> like this. Oh, you see it already, huh? Feel free to try and relay it in chat before I figure it out myself. But I'm glad someone sees it. <laughs> I've already got this part of it solved. Hold on. Because these blocks do not obey momentum. They don't knock each other around like they would on real ice. But now that we have a block right there, I recall we just need to take... Yeah, I already figured it out. Just got to take this one out from behind this one mm -hmm. and move it around. There we go. Ugh, this one actually gave me less trouble than the last one. Yep, and there you go. Already got it. The last one, it, it's, it was more about managing the blocks. This one was just trying to figure out where in the world to place them. Mm-hmm. So, now what is this place, I wonder? The there's the royal crest on the walls here. Mm -hmm. so this looks like a nice place for a Sheikah hideout, don't you think? I would not be surprised if this was a hideout, the hideout for the Lenebu province. Yeah. Or at least a storage room. I mean... Yeah, storage <laughs> room, definitely. No, no, never mind. Weapons. No, this is this is an armory. This is this is totally a fully fledged hideout right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here's something for your here's something for your writing. Totally. This is a this is practically a base minus the weird puzzles they put in here. Like, Which could have been safety mechanisms just to keep people from trying to get in. Yeah, like this is uh well, I mean, or something for Link to do. Who knows? <laughs> but, like, this looks like the ruins of an abandoned out, you know, outpost or armory or barrack. here. barrack, yeah. Yeah, some kind of old abandoned uh, barracks. The Sheikah might hide out in here. Here, have a, piece of, have a piece of candy and get out. Yep. It could also be a remnant from the high rule Silver War. Yeah, who knows? There's a bunch of possible explanations. I, I really like Sheikah Hideout, though. That would yeah. be a perfect place for it. Yeah, I was about to say, this would be flaw. This, I mean, whatever it's the remnants of, it's the perfect place for a hideout. A little chilly in there, but meh. Easily worker workable. Just torches and fires. Yep. Alright, so I believe there's stuff in the river. There's some money in there. Let's go diving. Also, Avalon, you should recognize this, uh, this theme that's playing right now in the night. This is a remix of, uh... Of uh, Ikana Valley, I believe, like at nighttime. Mm. Nighttime Ikana Valley, at nighttime Ikana Valley, I believe. Oh, there's a Poe. Oh yeah, that's right. We never got that one. Because we couldn't get it at the time, I think, since we hadn't met Giovanni. Huh. A deranged lunatic, eh? Oh, come on. I love how there's no actual contact between the sword and Link, and yet it still hits. 
I don't know. A nice little ice block puzzle like that? I don't know about a deranged lunatic. Like, don't get me wrong, some of the puzzles in this game were definitely designed by a deranged lunatic, but that one in particular? No, more along the lines of just somebody who likes to uh, see if anybody can outsmart them. Yeah, that didn't look too bad. It's protecting a piece of candy. I mean, I don't know. Some people hoard really bad, you know? It's not like there were death traps. Like, if there were death traps, I would agree with you. But there were no death traps, though. Arbiter's Ground was more of a death trap than that thing. Yeah, like, Arbiter's Grounds? I would say that about. <laughs> but Arbiter's Grounds was actually guarding something dangerous. Or sort of dangerous. Uh, what am I doing? Zora armor. Yeah, iron, Zora. Iron boots. Yeah, Zora iron boots. How and why would they even get blocks in there? Um... How would you get the blocks in there? Um, well, assuming they're not hollow, they could have been built because they might be containers. They might actually be really light since Link is able to push them around despite them being bigger than he is. And as for just to protect a piece of candy, again, I don't know. Some people are weird. You never know. I mean also been to protect some ancient royal treasure. Like, let me put it like this, Avalon. A piece of candy that permanently increases your health and durability for the rest of your life? Like, come on. You don't know how good that candy tastes. It might be worth it. It's not? What do you mean it's not? Link in Majora's Mask. He's the same Link from Ocarina, and therefore he goes and he goes back down to three. So it's not permanent. Okay, well it's permanent for a for a while though. It's permanent until you defeat Ganon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it lasted a long time. That's still one heck of a piece of candy, if you think about it. Uh, you turn into the Energizer Bunny until you defeat Ganon. Oh, water bombs. Do I even want to blow this up? There's no reason. Was there anything else besides that orange rupee in here? I don't think so. But my brain is still set on Breath of the Wild when it comes to bridges, so I just naturally look under bridges for Korok seeds and things. But I think we're done. They're just bombable rocks here. Yeah, just money if you want money. <laughs> random rain shower. I mean, it started before we went in the water, but... Mm. Uh... Oh, yeah. Now I sadly remember where to next. Borden. Yep. Back to goats. We gotta get it done at some point, so we might as well do it now. The Ordona province is so far removed from the rest of Hyrule proper that would it be just a vassal state of of Hyrule? It's, it's a province. Mm. It exists. It pays taxes. For protection from the, from the army, essentially. I mean, it's just like another city in a state or another city in a, in a country. It's not the capital, but it's still a city in the country. 
so it still belongs to the country. Hyrule's just the cat. Hyrule, Hyrule Castle Town is just the uh, capital city. Is all. Uh, yeah, it would be essentially just. Uh, they're just the country bumpkins in comparison to uh, the people from main Hyrule or central Hyrule. Yep. All right. Oh, wait, can we even goat herd at night? I think so. Of course, I want to. Of course, you know what I really want to do first. I thought you already got that. Did I already get this? I might have. Oh, no, just jump down, Link. No, I didn't! Ha! You were wrong. Mm. Oh, that's right, your wallet was full. Yeah, now that I think about it, you're right. It was because my wallet was full. I did go in here to get it, but I couldn't get it. But now we got it. Yay! It's time for Link to pull out his savings. He did just go on a big shopping spree. Yep. We can turn this money into defense, so gotta have. No, that's a rupee. That's uh, a yellow rupee. Aw, angle's wrong. Oh well. Can I do this at night? No, looks like it's closed off. Dang it! All right, well, in that case, we'll come back here at a later point. No. I know that. Dismount. We'll just leave Epona here. And actually, I know exactly where we can go since it's nighttime. There is a Poe up on Death Mountain Trail there that we need to get. Yes. Might as well take care of that one right now. Now, the question is, how do I remember where it is specifically? Yeah, it's down it's down the trail, I believe. Watch it be day daytime as soon as I get there. And then I'll be like, why do I not have a sun song? Also, there's a Zora up here. What? Hi, dude. That's interesting. I never ever noticed It's that. always hot when I come here. Yeah, no kidding. This right now will be sun dried in no time. It, it, obviously. Why is there a Zora up here? I didn't know he existed. It's all right. Neither did I. And I've explored the game relatively thoroughly. Learn something new every day. All right. Ah, 
Yeah, here we go. I need to get up here. No, game. Get up here. Now, what is this? Oh! Oh, that's a, uh, that's a blue chew, isn't it? Yeah. yeah it is. That's right. They exist in this game. Um... They are the special ones. Fill up your lantern, maybe? Yeah, I was about to say, lantern oil. Might as well. Um... Since I'm almost out... Rare Chew Jelly. Replenish all your life energy and for a short while boost attack strength. Yeah, that's right. That's what it does in this game. Oh no, I not daylight. No, not now. I thought the very tears he made you invincible for a short while. Oh yeah, that's right. Invincibility? Oh. That's right, yeah. Okay. I am misremembering so many things about this game. However, where is that Goron? Ah. Which Goron? There's a Goron around here somewhere, I think. That launches me up onto a ledge to get that Poe later at night, you know, when we come back here again, because we're inevitably gonna have to. <sighs> uh... Oh, we can grab onto that. What's up here? Oh, it's this little guy, but that's not who I was looking for. Oh, maybe it's not a Goron that launches us up here? No, that can't be right. I thought for sure there was a Goron that puts us up here, and up here is where the Poe should be, or would be. Right around here. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a Goron that launched us up here. Is that a... Oh! Oh. Yeah, we can talk to this guy. And then angle it. And then just aim. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So what's in the cave back there? Well, I was about to say, that's uh, that's the next thing on our list, isn't it? Can't let that go unexplored, even though there's no Poe up here anymore. We'll come back for it. Now that I know what I'm doing. Mostly know what I'm doing. in here oh oh yeah this is the heart piece there we go worth it now if only it's, it's too bad I was too late for the Poe but that works all right well now we can go back to Orden and do goat herding instead for a little bit, Trim. It'll just be for a little I, bit. I know, I know. Alright. Since we have to wait for night to get that Poe anyway... By chance, could you look up where some bugs are that we... Like, here. If I showed you a list of our bugs, would you be able to look up where the rest of them are? Because we're still missing quite a lot of bugs. One moment. Keep that screen up for just a little bit longer. Now 
I just need to take a quick snapshot and good to go. Thank you. Tell me if, like, I know, I know where some of them are. I know some of them are not obtainable yet, but, like, we should, I, I'm just curious if, like, there's any more that we can get right now. Like, I know one of them's in Temple of Time, of course, mm -hmm. but, like, are there any we're missing that we can get now? I am looking them up now. Thank you. It saves me the trouble of having to look it up myself and awkwardly pause. Although we do need to take a break for ads anyway, so be back in just a moment. Um... Near the entrance to Kakariko? Mm hmm. Huh, okay. We'll grab some bugs here in a minute. I forget which route and Pokemon the bug catchers are all on. But first and foremost, let's get goat herding done. Let's get it out of the way. A lot of these are obtainable now. Friend. Yeah, that makes sense. I know there's only a handful that are really restricted at the moment. All right, all right. Come on. Okay, here we go. Where's the dude? Hey, Endorsey. Did you leave us for a bit there? Like you popped in and then you then you left. Or at least you seemed to. Alright. Yes, everybody's fine. We are herding goats. Or at least we're about to. Ah, uh, I see. That's fair. All right. What's the time we have to get for this? That right there is not good. Yeah, yeah, the those guys suck. They really do. Yeah, I'm I should have clipped that. Dang it. I did forgot to clip it. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back and highlight that after the stream here. I should have clipped that. That was my bad. Also, I am failing at goat herding. Much too long. This will never work. Way too long now that these two are not going in, right? Um, you should be able to get, uh, still get it. What? Are you serious? It depends on, on what your previous record was. Uh, faster than this is the answer. So this is terrible. I messed up horribly in the beginning. So I'm going to have to redo that, probably. I'll be shocked if he gives me a hard piece for that. Oh my gosh, he gave it to me. What? Do I just have to do it, like, successfully complete it? I thought I had to do it within a certain time. 
Sorry, endorsed you. This is about as good as it's gonna get for me. Yeah, there's. I've done all I can. Like I've, like she's turned up as loud as she can be on Discord here. I've got her volume maxed out. I don't know what else to do about it. Like, I mean, I guess I could turn everything else down. Like, I could turn the game down. That's no, actually, that, no, that's right. I can't turn the game down because it's coming through the same... If I turn the game down, it'll turn her down. Like, my, my voice is separate from everything else because it's coming through my mic, but her voice is coming through Discord, which is an application on my desktop which is the same thing that the capture card is running through because it's running through OBS as well. So, like, turning turning that down would just turn her down. So I can't... There's literally nothing I can adjust outside of Discord to make her volume louder. Oh, well, that's good to hear, Avalon. Yeah. I'm glad you can hear her just fine. Let's get, uh... Let's get out of here. I don't know how I got the goats right away. I thought it was, I thought, I thought I could have swore there was like a time trial for that or something. I think it's just underneath two, under two minutes or something. Oh, I thought for some reason I'm remembering it way worse than it actually was. That's weird. All right, well, whatever. I'll take it. Let's go get some bugs. Okay, where are we heading to first? Let's get the desert done. Okay. All right. Let's get that other day fly I missed earlier. And if there's any pose out there, maybe it'll become nighttime and I'll see any pose I missed, if I missed any. I don't think so. That's gonna be a nightmare. Tracking down all the pose later. We don't want to go in the cave of ordeals just yet. So you're gonna go along the south wall until you get to the owl statue, and then oh, the here we go. There you go. It's in the second bench. Is this what I'm looking for? More than likely. No, come back, little bug. Hey, there it is. Well, that was fast. And that is the, those are the only bugs that you meet, meet in the desert. Yep. I the guess. The rest are mostly in Hyrule Field. Yep. That was quick. Now. Yeah, you want go so Endorsty, how's the weather in Sweden? Like, we were talking earlier about how hot it is outside, and I was actually kind of wondering, how is it in Sweden right now? Way too hot. Oh, I forgot that those things are here now. Boiling? How hot how hot is it right now? I know of course you're gonna respond in Celsius. Hey, got the butterfly, or one of them. You got the Okay. It's gonna be next to the patch of pink flowers for the male butterfly. Mhm. Mm it's somewhere in uh, somewhere around here. But what's in here? Is there anything important in here? I don't remember. I think it's more rupees. Eh, why not? I'm curious. 
Will this have any effect? No, it will not. Okay. Right now it's 8 Celsius, but it's 3 a.m. Oh, okay. That's fair enough. That's right, it's... Being way over in Europe, the time is way... You're way ahead of us. So, uh, for you, it's... You're probably getting sleepy right about now, I would assume. It's late night for you. Are you ahead of us or behind us? I think I think ahead, right? Yeah, should be ahead. Yep, hundred rupees. All right. <laughs> Uh, for us... For us, it's July Thursday. 2nd. It's Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> they should be ahead of us, considering how the time zones work. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Yeah. 3 a.m. on the 3rd, right? <laughs> It's almost 4th of July over here in uh, the U.S. For us, that means a holiday. Where are you going, Trent? Uh, the wrong way. I don't know if, like, I don't know if you know anything about American holidays. For the... Yeah, for the, exactly. But 4th of July is uh, Independence Day here in the U.S. You can just see it floating above those. Right, Chief. And got the other butterfly. Now, wasn't there one in here? No, it was, it was just to the entrance leading to this area. Oh, okay. I almost want to. I almost wonder if I can long jump to get that chest, but you, uh, no, you need the, the dominion rod for the puzzle if you want to do it right. So. Well, if I want to do it right. Uh, okay, so we have a couple of choices for the next uh, next round of bug hunting. We can go this side. go into the south area near Castletown. Oh wait, didn't you say that grasshopper was next to Kakariko? Yes, but we're right next to Castletown, so do you want to get all of the Castletown ones while we're here? Oh, is there more here in this area? It's just in the, in the, it's right next to um, Castletown, South Castletown. South Castletown. We already, I thought we already cleared out South Castletown. You are missing the male ladybug. No, I have the male ladybug. I'm missing the female one. Uh, still in south of Castletown. S really? Hangs out near a set of trees on, located on the side of the overly large staircase. Really? Okay, then. Huh. So what holidays do you have in uh, Sweden, then? I mean, surely you've got some. Oh, that frame rate. Every time I walk through that corridor, frame rate. To be fair, for the GameCube, it would be straining its capabilities, too. Yeah, lots and lots of models and textures. You don't know? Sweden has no holidays? That can't be right. I 
I've never been to Sweden, so I wouldn't know, but still, that sounds odd. Oh, Oh. well, okay, well, just name some that you celebrate, then. Ah, no, come back here. Link, why are you facing that way? Grab the bug. I want to know if it's the right one. I don't know. That's the... Wait a minute. Am I... Am I stupid? Oh. I thought pink was female. You're right. I'm stupid. That's why. <laughs> For some reason, my brain swapped the two symbols. Fine. Where's the male one? Is it still here? Yes, it's still here. Can usually be found hovering over a patch of flowers near where the bird swarm is. Bird swarm? There should be a bird oh. swarm that is south of the... Yeah, over there. You see it. I can't believe I would admit... Right here? Flower. Flower patch in here? That's crazy. How could I possibly have missed this? Because it blends with the flowers so well. I should have heard it from here. I should have heard it. Because, like, I was right up on top of this pillar digging in as Wolf Link. Mm -hmm. So, that's weird. Now I just need a bigger wallet. How do you... Okay, you know what? Since you're looking things up for me... How do we get the larger wallet, actually? First of May. May Day? Yeah, they celebrate May Day. We don't. Okay. Hmm. What is it a celebration of? Let's see, what? It, it looks like Agatha is the only one that will give you wallets. Really? What do we have to do to get bigger wallet? You have to do, give, um, give her all 24 insects. Seriously? Oh, okay. That's not what I expected. All right. It's basically just the town starting a huge fire. <laughs> okay. Isn't May Day in correlation with Beltane? Hmm. Well, it's starting to get late, so we could go back to Elden and get that Poe. I'm gonna do that. I'm curious. International Workers Day. Huh. Okay. It's also in celebration of the return of spring. Okay. In Rome. Huh. Interesting. I was just curious. And this Sora guy. And he still just he still just says the same thing too. I mean, you know there's some hot springs just around the corner there, buddy. If you're feeling dried up. Oh, May Day because a lot of people used to dance around the maypole. Yep. Mm -hmm. The what? 
it's uh, it was mostly a uh, tradition to try and uh, induce fertility in crops, uh, and also by extension others. Yeah, yeah. uh huh, yeah. So belting. Essentially. Okay. All right, all right. Now, how about that Poe? I found money. It's twenty bucks under a rock. Twenty more bucks under this rock, man. Some people are just losing money all over the place. Yeah. Now see, the Twilight Realm looks nothing like this. This is what actual Twilight looks like. Hmm, so pretty. Like the Twilight Realm that Midna showed us looked weird. Well, it is in an alternate dimension. Yeah. Oh, is that a... And there's the Poe. It's dancing around. Yup. Here we go. Let's catch ourselves a ghost type. As long as it's not ghastly. Actually, the orb that we catch does kind of look like a ghastly. Uh... Except it has no face on it. I'm sure you could you could put one on it if you wanted. Come on, come on. We got it! Now quick, let's evolve it into a hunter and then a Gengar. Gengars are actually really, really strong. They are... They've actually been... Gengars actually are a... Pretty decent, uh... Competitive Pokemon. If you're into competitive Pokemon, that is. Anyhow. Where to next? Where can we go if we wanted more pose? I have to bring up a different guide entirely for the pose. No, that's all right. Um, I think... Eh, just for the heck of it, let's just look around Hyrule Field a bit more, shall we? And then if we don't find anything, we'll just move on to the next dungeon. Let's see if there's anything obvious that I missed. Any Poe's around here that I don't already have? Wait, is there a Poe up there? Did I get the one up there? I think we saw it, but we couldn't get it in. No, it looks like I already cleared it out. Oh, since you're in this area, there are bugs here. Well, okay. There's the one we definitely already have, the one that's right there. We already got uh, that one. So you have the male pole bug. Yep. Uh, just south of the Kakariko village entrance is a small patch of flowers and, gra and grass near a tree. Uh, the pole, female pole bug should be near there. Over here somewhere? Pops of flowers in a tree. Near the entrance to Kakariko. Okay. This is the entrance to Kakariko. Let's there are no trees. So, it's not here. Where's the nearest tree? Maybe it's up there on that little, uh -huh. that little patch, uh, on the little mesa over to, behind you. Don't think we can actually get up there. Hmm. 
May as well keep looking around for it for a minute. Oh, here we go. Maybe it's those trees? There's something over there. Well, there's flowers in a tree, so... There's a guy! Let's get him! Yeah, I think I see it. Yeah, there it is. There we go. And we got the other one. Nice. So that's filling out our bug collection a good bit. Yeah, a lot less holes now. You still need... What is that one underneath the day flies? That's the female stag beetle there. Okay. You want the moon. Alright. That one's gonna be in North Hyrule Field. Of course. So, okay, so basically you're saying all the male-female pairs are in the same area. Yes. As each other. Okay. That is something I had honestly forgotten about this game. That that's how they did that. Now that I know that, that will actually make 100%ing this next, on my next run through easier. Because I'll remember that that's an option. So, any pose anywhere here in uh, South Hyrule Field? I would not be surprised if there is a pose in the, near the center. Yeah. That's why I'm looking for it. I see something. Oh! I see something I should have gotten a long time ago. How did I miss that? That's like one of the first heart pieces you can ever get. Yeah, okay. Well, no, it's not because it's way out in Hyrule Field. And remember, we don't get to Hyrule Field until after the first dungeon. Well, at one of the first hi pieces in Hyrule Field you can ever get. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how I failed to get that before. Did I? Do I already have this? What is this? I don't think you have this bug. I'll bet I do, actually. But let me check. It's the beetles. You have all the beetles. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have both of those. Now where... Oh! Is that one? That looks like it. I That's see a... not where the other bug is. I see a speck of light. And if it's not a bug, then that must mean... It's a Poe. Yep, there we go. Oh my gosh. There we go. Got it. All right. I figured there had to be at least one out here, right? With how many there are in the game, there's at least 60, so... Has to be some. And I know that there are some pose in the trial of our deals. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple down there for sure. We'll go get those. When it's time for that, but first things first. I think... Is that all of them? I think that might be all of them. And if it is, then it's time for the next, uh, the next area. I think that is, in fact, all of them. At least for out here. Okay.
So now we have to make a return trip to where we got the Master Sword. And move on to one of the coolest looking dungeons in the game. Let's be red and gold. Doesn't Link look sharp in this awesome magic tunic? The magic armor here. Yes, he looks nice. It's hard to it's hard to see at night, but it has been a while since we took a walk in the forest, huh? Yes. And how our world has changed. It's night time. I knew you would come. I have heard of your brave acts from Telma. I have known her circle of friends since my youth, and of late we have begun to work toward a common goal. So, let me tell you a story. Do you know about, about the far side of this deep gorge? Some say there is an ancient temple deep in the woods that guards a sacred power. Uh, well, we might, uh, we might know something about that. The ancestors of the Hylians created the temple. Signs of their civilization, ancient but very sophisticated, are everywhere. If someone could obtain the power of those ancient people, well, I am sure it would it'd go a long way towards saving Hyrule. Link, would you take on this task? Would you cross the gorge and find the ancient and power sleeping in the temple? <laughs> I knew you would. To cross the gorge, just use my partner here. Do you doubt my partner's skills? He flies like a dream, believe me. Well, you will definitely make it across the gorge. Wait and see, my doubting friend. Okay. Restore the peace. Reclaim the power of this ancient civilization that has slept in the temple for ages beyond count. My partner will definitely... He get the job done, no doubt in my mind. Give it a shot. Okay. And now what? Oh, okay. Yeah. I sorta of remember what to do. Yeah, we do actually have to jump across. Here we go. Does the wind blow, or do we have to turn these things? Or do we even need them to turn? Yep, we need them to turn! Hey, magic armor did its work! Also, oh, I didn't realize the magic armor actually drains our rupees per second mm -hmm. oh gosh i didn't realize that i forgot about that effect also it suddenly became dawn also rupees speaking of rupees it's a chest yay ten more seconds of it uh but invincibility or less damage yeah. Okay. Well, Dawn Princess. Um, let's go ahead and pause for an ad break here. I'll be back in just a moment. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is where most people tell you to like, comment, and subscribe. And while I would appreciate you doing all that, 
If you enjoyed my content, come check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash trinfinitex so you can watch and chat with me while I make these. I'm a family-friendly streamer, so everybody's welcome. Throw me a follow on Twitch and Twitter so you can get notifications when I go live. Links will be down in the description. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to meeting you.